Hey everyone, it's Johnny, your Independent Sensi Consultant. Welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to be talking about the fresh category from the Spring Summer 2022 Sensi Collection. So there are a bunch in this category. We're going to try to blaze through these because a lot of them are returning. Um, and so I have done them in other Spring Summer, um, you know, first sniffs or go throughs of the catalog. So I will try to kind of speed through the ones that are returning favorites and staples and just kind of get through it so you have an idea. Um, but feel free to either look at previous one catalog seasons for some of the ones that are returned um, for more in-depth reviews. <clears throat> that being said, there are a lot of great scents that are returning as well as some that are still in the catalog, thank goodness. So without further ado, here we go. First one is Aloe Water and Cucumber. <clears throat> This is returning aloe water, cucumber peel, palm frond, and pineapple nectar, or oh so mellow. This is a great, strong performer. You do get a lot of the aloe. You do get like a watery, dewy scent, and you do get a lot of cucumber. Um, I like this scent not in wax form. I like it in um, cleaning products. I liked it in laundry when we used to have it in the laundry line. Um, I like it in like fragrance flower, in, you know, room sprays. I don't like it warm. Something about the warmth added to this scent doesn't do something for me. It just doesn't sit right. So personal thing, I've tried it a couple times. It just warming the wax for this one doesn't do it for me, but it's a great scent otherwise. Um, and it's strong. Uh, next we have Amazon Rain. This is another returning favorite. It's one of my favorites. Um, it's a bestseller for good reason. Um, it set off on a rainforest romp swirling with sweet notes of melon, orange zest, coconut milk, and sultry night blooming jasmine. This is a beautiful, it's, all of that is there. This is a beautiful, almost romantic kind of scent, but it's also fresh. It, you have the fruity notes, you have the slight floral notes. It's, it's a scent that would not offend just about anyone. I mean, I have yet to encounter anyone yet who has been like, oh my God, I hate this scent. And I'm sure they're out there. Don't get me wrong. Cause not everyone's going to love every scent, but I think this is a beautiful, fresh, clean, wonderful scent. Um, can warm it year round and it's, it just, it lasts, it's strong and it doesn't bog down the room or, you know, make it too, um, overly f fresh smelling, you know, like some, some, some mid smells can kind of get a little bit too much. Um, Beautiful scent. Love it. It's also similar to Summer Holiday. Um, not quite as um, uh, the same vein. as a little bit more fresh and zesty than that one. But love the scent. I'm not going to say any more about it. <clears throat> Next we have Atlantic Air. This is coming back again. Um, I love this scent. It's, it's a nice, solid, um, fresh air scent. A refined veil of ocean mist, sea salt, and white orchid. Yeah, this is, this is a um, fresh sort of sea salt ocean scent that I can get behind. By the Sea doesn't quite do it for me. The new Shoreline Drive, at least in Cold Sniff, didn't really do it for me. But this one, this one I enjoy. So when this comes back, I do tend to like it and grab a bar and warm it or two. Um, and it's a great blender, too, for other scents if you want to add that, like, oceany air quality to it. Also, it's like a slight cologne masculine vibe to it, which I appreciate. <clears throat> All right, by the sea. This is another bestseller returning. The ascent of ocean air, walking, wafting through dewy seaside grass. Yeah, this is this and the new scent, Shoreline Drive, are almost dupes. Except Shoreline Drive also has um, passion flower in it, for a better words. It has like a different level to this otherwise couple dimensional scent. But this is a great safe staple scent. It smells good. It performs. I don't particularly love it, but I don't mind warming it every now and then. I actually have a, a customer who, um, whenever like I'll visit and they have it in, it's like, oh my goodness, what are you warming? And it's like, oh, I don't think it smells like that in my place. That's probably why I don't warm it as much. All right. Next we have Clean Breeze. This has been around forever. White florals with a touch of spring. This is the scent of fresh, clean laundry. This is yeah, this is basically like Febreze adjacent, <laughs> maybe Tide, but it's, it's, it's a clean laundry scent. It's like the laundry once it went through the wash cycle, but it hasn't dried yet. So there's like the wet aquatic quality to it, but it's laundry and it's clean. 
It's like when you pull them out before you put them in the dryer. That's what this smells like. And it's nice. It's nice. It's super strong. Definitely a powerhouse. I, on rare occasion, will grab it. Um, clothesline. Crisp greens, orange flower, creamy violet, and white wicker basket will let you savor the scent of just wash laundry. So this is, this is like quintessential laundry scent. And it's super strong. It kind of reminds me of like wet or washed laundry. And you put in a lot of like fabric softener, like downy fabric softener or something. So it comes out and it's fresh and clean, but it's very laundry. And like your whole dryer bin smells like laundry and everything else, like fresh laundry, mind you. But this is like laundry and it is super strong. And even like the little tester itself is a monster of a powerhouse. This is like maybe half a cube, maybe three quarters of a cube or something like that in terms of size. This alone will like stink up a whole house or like a good chunk of your house. So strong performer, but you gotta really love laundry or maybe it's laundry and cleaning day and then it kind of fits in. But otherwise it's like, holy bananas. Um, next one, I actually have the tester put it out elsewhere. Coconuts for Coconuts, that's one of the new releases. Ocean Breeze weaves along a coastline lush with wild coconut and tiara flower. It's on cold, it's like a lot of fresh coconut, um, a little bit of an oceany breeze, very slight, and like a, a musky sort of floral note quality on the bottom, sort of like sandy floral. Um, we'll see how it performs, but on cold, I really enjoyed it. After that, we have Make a Splash. This is returning dewy melon and fresh green apple. Dive into refreshing turquoise waters. Yeah, this is nice. I mean, it's a, it's an apple melon aquatic scent. Yeah, that, that's really what it is. It's not bad. It's, it's not, it's not like I'm running to the, to the store, to, to the Scentsy website to stock up on it. I think it's it's kind of like if you mixed a like Mad for Melon and pretend or even like Apple Teeny Splash the new one, um, with like a, a aquatic scent. It has a little bit of a of a like a spa slash adjacent to shower bathroom sort of like watery note, but in a good way. I mean it's it's a nice scent. It's just it's. A little bit much for me just it's kind of like eh. all right next we have newborn nursery i don't have a tester of that i don't know where it went and i haven't gotten a new one i don't really care because it's basically baby powder it's baby powder in wax form so if you want baby powder get newborn nursery it's described as fresh clean and powdery this dreamy scent <laughs> evokes memories of cradling your little ones it's baby powder it's this is not a dreamy scent it's baby powder Coral Waters is next. This basically smells like some fancy shampoo to me. Um, lush nectarine blossom and peony bloom alongside bright, clear coral waters. Yeah, it's like herbal essence of shampoo or some like fancy, sweet, kind of like fruity floral shampoo. That's all I get from this. And our new scent, um, what is it called? Paradise Petals, which we'll go over in the other in the floral category. It's basically this same scent, almost, but this one is more aquatic and dewy and that one doesn't have that part of it. So if you like like shampoo-y sort of scent smells, that's definitely what that one is. Not a vibe for me, but hey, if you love it, more power to you. Daydream Oasis is next. That's another new one. That is a like rainfall in lush greens and like maybe meets Mahalo Coconut a little bit note. It is a great sort of scent. I can't wait to warm it. I hope it performs well because then it'll go in my club. After that, we have palm trees and ocean breeze. I'm so glad that this came back. This is a scent of the month. It's so good. Bright palm leaf and fresh coconut water sway to the rhythm of an ocean breeze. And that's what it is. It's coconut water, not coconut. So it's a more mellow, muted type of coconut scent. And it's a, it's just a very fresh, clean, summery scent. Like it's like you went out to like a tropical beach or, and you just smell the fresh air, hint of like dewiness and greenery, 
but a nice, maybe just like that slight coconut water sort of scent, but it's just, it's beautiful. I love it. It's, it's, it's again, it's like a very spa like scent. I enjoy it immensely. It's in my club. It will stay there. That's, that's all I'm going to say about it. And it's a good performer. Um, French lavender came back. Pure herbal fragrance of wild lavender from Hills of France. And that's what it is. It's an herbal lavender scent. My big thing with this is it's a very light scent. So if you are sensitive, no pun intended, or maybe pun intended, um, to heavy fragrances, this might be one to try. It's a great soothing scent, but it is on the soft side. So just be aware of that when you get it and you're like, oh my gosh, this is, this is very light. Yes, yes it is. It is not going to give you the same sort of heaviness um, that a... Lav French lavender or lavender essential oil diffused in your room would give you, which is usually like, whoa, lavender. This is very light. Um, and interestingly enough, it's in the fresh category and not the floral category. I feel like some of these categories got switched around weirdly this time around. But that's okay. I didn't write the book. Iridescent Pearl is next. This is lustrous layers of ripe, juicy mango and apple blossom wine down with tranquil water lotus. This is another dewy aquatic scent. You get the sweetness of the mango. Um, this was similar to Mineral Oasis. They were both launched at the same time, and sadly, Mineral Oasis didn't come back, and this one did. I don't know why. I think Mineral Oasis was the better choice, but oh well. It's in my club. I can't complain. Um, you do get a floral note. You get a watery note. Um, it's, it's just that very dewy with a hint of mango. Hint of fruit, even. It's nice. It's nice. Um, it's a soft to medium scent. I don't know that I'm like head over heels about it, but I enjoy it when I do warm it. Next we have uh, pink cotton. I'm just going in random order, of course. Find your fantasy on a cloud of clean, clot clean cotton swirled with fruity pink berries and vanilla sugar. And this is, it's pink haze meets cotton. That, that's what it is. It's bright, sweet, berries and cotton. I am not a particular fan of it, but I know a lot of people enjoy it, so it is what it is. I prefer lavender cotton, which did return, thank goodness. Um, and this one, I am jumping around all over the place. Find your magical moment in purple lavender, soft cotton, and daisy blossom. This is what I want from like a laundry scent, personally. And it's a great scent to warm, uh, just in general, it's nice and fresh and, and uplifting. So even if it's not like in a laundry room, like it works in a bedroom, it would probably work fine anywhere in the house. It's fresh and clean. You get the lavender, but it's not like overtly herbal. You do get that sort of like fluffy cotton towel vibe and maybe a hint of like daisy or floral in there beyond the lavender. It's, it's just, it's really nice. It's a well-balanced scent. It's it's very cozy, cuddly, warm, like great, just like snuggle sort of scent. Highly recommend. All right, then I kind of jumped around, so let's not forget about these. Shoreline Drive, it's the new one. It's um, Dewy Greens, Passion Flower, and Sea Mist. It's it's basically by the sea with Passion Flower. That's, that's the best way I can describe it, and it honestly smells quite similar. Um, Jammy Time has returned. This is Drift into Dreamland with Baby Freesia, Lavender, and Sweet Pea. Yeah, I'm still not a huge fan of this. I'm more Camp Luna. But you do get, you do get Baby Freesia, you do get the Lavender, you do get the Sweet Pea. Um, I think it's the Sweet Pea for me, and maybe even the Freesia that just kind of throws it off a little bit. But it, it's, it's a nice bedtime, jammy, you know, evening scent, soft scent. It's it's very relaxing, I'll say that much. I just, I don't particularly have strong feelings about it being like, oh my gosh, I love it. All right. Just breathe. Breathe deeply is soothing eucalyptus, zesty lemon, and a medley of mints, comfort, and rejuvenate. This is a great, like, uplifting scent. A little bit sinus cleansing. It's very fresh. It's definitely eucalyptus, lemon, mint. Um, it's, it, it gives me like, if you like the concept of essential oils and like that freshness from like the, the brighter scents or the mint eucalyptus, all those ones, 
but you don't want to deal with like the diffusing of it. This scent, it kind of encapsulates that uh, in a wax bar form. And you get that same sort of brightness and freshness. And it's it's a great scent. It's it's definitely a great scent. I am not a huge eucalyptus person as a whole, but um, this one is quite nice. It's a nice blend. And finally, returning Magnolia Linen. Uh, Sunwashed linen dances in the breeze amid a garden of magnolia and honeysuckle. This, to me, I was so excited by the scent notes. This is a linen scent with a hint of floral. But it's mostly a linen scent. It's it's definitely laundry. It's it's good. But it is mostly linen with hint of floral. Um, and, and I think that was my biggest gripe. Like, I wanted to have a better blend of the two. And I feel like the linen component of this just overpowers everything else in it. So, that's my only thing with it. But it is a good laundry-based fresh scent. And there you have it. Fresh category Blitz. So, because we had a lot of them, right? Um, hopefully this was helpful. I didn't want to, like, you know, prattle on about same, a lot of the returning ones that we've seen before many, many times. Um, but hopefully this also gives you an idea of what to expect in this category. Do you have any favorites there? I definitely can say I'm excited that Palm Trees and Ocean Breeze is back. I'm, you know, very excited to see Lavender Cotton. Um... I'm very interested about a couple of these new scents to see how they work out because I do like fresh category stuff. Um, but we will see. So if you have any favorites in this category, do let me know. I'm always curious. Um, and if you are new here, consider subscribing. And I will see you guys in our next video. Take care. Bye.